Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video guys to any of you having a GDI engine. It could be any GDI engine used in Hyundai or Kia vehicle guys. And you have a valve lifter noise. Stay with us, we'll explain what can usually cause that and how to fix it. All that will be covered in this video today. Now, one common mistake people make when removing cylinder heads, camshafts, anything like that, that can result into a valve lifter noise and it can result you into multiple hours of labor to actually fix that we'll explain what it is make sure you stay until the end before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you if you need to buy any parts to use for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from with that being said guys let's explain now this specifically is a 2.4 GDI engine. Now, we will be rebuilding that engine completely. We'll have videos for almost anything you can think of. Also, we have a 1.6 that we are working on uh, simultaneously on this one. So quite a few GDI videos will be coming, guys, on the channel that will teach you how to do things. So in order to get to the valve lifters, if you need to see how to remove or replace valve lifters, we have a special video that explains that on a GDI engine. Step by step, removing the... Uh, you need to remove timing chains, camshafts, quite a bit of work guys goes into it, but it will be uh, on the channel and it will teach you how to do that. But what causes valve lifter noise? Okay, let's explain that now. Valve lifter noise guys. You will have, okay, let me just remove one of the camshafts, uh, which one goes here? This one is the front one. Let's just remove the other one out of the way, just to pick it up. And I want to show you guys, when you have the camshaft installed, okay, you have your camshaft caps installed as well. The camshaft will be down. And valve lifter noise is usually caused, okay, you can see when the valve is supposed to be closed, okay, uh, you should have no gap between the valve, uh, uh, the uh, valve, uh, the valve lifter here and the camshaft itself, the lobe right here. You should have no uh, no uh, uh, space bigger than certain specifics, guys. For your engine, could be different, but yeah, you need to find the um, manual and find out what is the clearance here. If that clearance is too big, what will happen? It will develop a knock and ticking sign sound. If it's uh, uh, if there is no clearance at all, that means that the valve may be leaking and you may be leaking towards the intake or the exhaust manifold. That way the engine will not be efficient, it will be losing power and it can destroy things such as intake manifold, catalytic converters, exo uh, oxygen sensors, multiple things. So the clearance between the valve and the camshaft should be in certain specs. It's, if it's out of specs, it uh, changes okay everything and causes that... Uh, okay valve lifter noise but if you look at it that's a valve lifter right here guys i'm going to uh my fingers got pretty <laughs> pretty oily so let's go ahead and remove two of them and uh, we want to show you now for instance that one guys okay that one uh you cannot see clearly on the inside but if you pay attention okay i'll try to see it it says zero uh, it says 3.360 that's uh, the thickness guys of that uh, valve uh, valve lifter now the other one let's pull the other one this is 3.360 let's check the other one and see what the other one is uh, I don't know this one let's let's just try this one to grab this one here okay next to it so let me just get the other pliers maybe oh I almost I almost hit it out no, this is not going to work with these pliers. Let me try with this hand. Perfect, right there. So if you look at that valve lifter now, okay, this one says that the spacing is at, okay, 3.345, 3.345, guys. So uh, this is actually smaller thickness than the other one. So how you adjust them, you get the correct thickness of valve uh, valve lifter so you might need to buy multiple ones to adjust everything sometimes all you have to do just move them places and everything will fit correctly now if you have a valve lifter noise often guys that is caused because people let's say worked on your engine or you bought a vehicle used the cylinder head was removed for a head gasket replacement or anything like that or uh, whatever the problem was they'll remove the cylinder head they'll put it upside down the valve lifters will fall and they will not know where to install them so always mark them okay 
uh, on top mark them which one is for intake one two three four five six seven eight and for the exhaust the same way so if for some is the, uh, for some reason they come out of the cylinder head you will know where to install them guys so that usually what causes valve uh, lifter noise hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time